Arr, welcome to Scott's Stuff. This week I'm going to be talking about Age of Booty. This is an Xbox Live game that you can download and play at home by yourself, or with friends at home, or online. It's a combination of a board game and a uh, real-time strategy game, and put together in a pretty nice package. It's a simple game to play. I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I thought I would present it here because it's something that would reach out to both board gamers and video games alike. Now, unlike some of the other things where we've had on Xbox Live, we've had games like Settlers of Catan and Ticket to Ride and Lost Cities. These all started as board games and were turned into Xbox Live games. Age of Booty was designed as a online game, and so it's both here, I think it's on some of the other networks, perhaps even on the PC. Now, I'm playing it on Xbox Live, which means I can either play it by myself, with other people at home, or on online against others. And by the way, if you go online, you can look for Professor Bear. So Age of Booty, the reason why I'm presenting it here is because it's a combination of a board game and a light real-time strategy game. I had one friend say, you know, it's, it's a real-time strategy game for grown-ups, <laughs> meaning it's not overly complex. And as a light game, games usually take 10 minutes or less. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. So I thought I'd show it to you here. Now, what's going to go on in Age of Booty? I'm going to choose a map here where I'm against one competitor. And the goal of the game is to collect a number of cities. And so in this game, for example, I need to collect three cities in order to win the game. So we'll start it up. Time to now, this is my home base. And at my home base, what I can do there is upgrade my ship and I'll be sailing back there. If I crash as well, I will be teleported back there. Now, let's look at the map. So on the map, you have these small uh, hut villages, and these villages are going to give you one resource of what's pictured there. There are three resources in the game, gold, wood, and rum. The reason for getting resources is it allows you to upgrade your ship or upgrade your cities that you've captured. And so, f as you can see down at the bottom, for two wood and four rum, I can upgrade my ship, giving myself better cannons or faster speed or... Um, Oh, there's my opponent, and he's taking my city. Well, the city I want to take, and so I'm going to come and cause him some trouble. To fight, you just move your little cursor on top of the space you want to be, and press the button. And that will have you fly to sail, actually not fly, to that area. And so you'll automatically fight. I don't have to do anything else to actually fight. I just sit here, and he sank me. Which means now he's going to get a little bit of my booty, of which I have none, and I teleport back home. So, But he's injured now, so I can come up behind him, and perhaps wear him down a little bit. The problem is, he is right next to one of his cities, and as he's next to one of his cities, he's going to continue to repair himself, because that's the advantage of being by a city that you've captured. So I can choose to try and take him down in order to take the city that's closest to me, or I can go somewhere else to try to take a city. Now, I can see the fight's going pretty well. Again, I'm not doing anything. You just move to a spot and wait, and your boat will attack their boat. So you can see, now I've sank him. Arg! Now it's my booty. So I'll go here, I'll pick that up, and now I'll start bombarding his city. It'll fight back, and I may actually have to run away here. If I run away back to my home base, then I can repair, and I will do that. And that will let me repair my ship. Now, he's sailing around at the same time, too. I mean, I can go in and see the rest of the map and see what's going on. The goal of this map is to end up with three cities, so it may be better for me to just give up on that one and go for some of these other cities you see on the map. But you know it's the point of it that he's at my city, the one that's right off my port. So I think what I might do is give up on that right now. I spent too much time talking to you and not taking out cities. So I'm going to sail down here and take out this little village. And this village is going to end up giving me um, a resource. And I need to start collecting resources if I want to improve my, uh, my ship or improve my cities. Now once you've taken a city, you can spend resources on that city to fortify it. What will happen is the city, the reason for taking cities is it continually produces resources. So I've taken that little village down and that gives me one wood. Also, when you sink an opposing ship like that, you can pick up a special item. This item is going to let me steal gold from him. So what I can do is move my cursor on top of him and press Y, and I'll steal some gold if he has any. He didn't, so that was kind of a waste of time. Now I can see he's taking on this city. I notice he's almost taken it down, but he's had to sail away, which means I can sweep in and grab it. Like the pirate I am, arg! And so now I'll capture this and it'll become my city. Now if I sit in front of my city, I will slowly heal. 
I also picked up some wood and some rum there. Now if you look at my wood and rum resource counters at the bottom, you can see a little clock running. What that means is every time that clock cycles around, I'm going to get one wood and one rum. And that's great because when I get two wood and four rum, I can then upgrade my ship. So this is basically how the game goes. You can sail around. Now resources will be dropped on the map, like this one here. So I can go by and pick that up. And I'll go ahead and take out this guy. I can see I've got two rum and two wood. Again, whenever you take out another ship, it's going to give you a little bonus that you can use to harass your opponent. Sometimes they'll just drop a normal resource. So that gives, gave me a bomb, which means I can drop a little bomb to cause some trouble for him. So we'll see what happens. And so he got caught in the bomb. He got pretty badly hurt there, which was great for me. So this is how the game goes. Now, I'm pretty injured. I, I might want to go back home, but I think I'd rather do a little damage to him if I can. Of course, now he's by his port, which means he's going to heal. But I'm going to take a shot at... Okay, I managed to win, which was very lucky, actually. Probably not the best move possible, but now I'll, I'll get his booty. Okay, so now I have enough to get a ship upgrade. So now what I'm going to do is sail back to port and upgrade my ship. Oh, or I'll just sink. <laughs> so now I could see that I sank, and so I lost some resources, and that was too bad. So now I have enough to upgrade my ship, but I think what I'm going to do is try and take out this town before I do that. I can see I happen to be doing pretty well in this fight. Now, if he starts fighting me before I get to take out the town, it will be contested. But, see, now it's contested because there's two of us there, and he sank me. He used a Whirlpool uh, special ability, which lets you sink an opponent and send them somewhere across the map. So I think what I want to do is try and get back there. I can see he's taking it over, though, so that's not very fun. But there are lots of maps to explore. There are, if you go in multiplayer, you can make your own maps. Um, but there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different maps to explore, and that's great. It, it keeps the game varied. You can Different maps are good for different numbers of players. And so that's it. You can make your own map if you want to do that. Um, I've enjoyed Age of Booty, and any of you out there that are feeling a bit piratical, well, load up Age of Booty, challenge Professor Bear, and we'll see who has the best booty. Arrgh. Talk to you later.